Hello and welcome to Tips and Tricks with Polysan. Today I want to show you the new feature of Polysan, the Lock and Parameterize feature. To get started with it, you need to click on Options, Settings, and under Advanced, you need to enable the Lock and Parameterize feature. Also, you need to define uh, a file where you want to print all the results. After changing it, please click on OK. Now you can open an existing system or an existing project of Polysan. So this is what I have here. Click on Results and click on Log and Parameterize. Unfortunately, until now it's not translated, but we are going to work on it. Please start to define the first variables you want to print and I want to go with the weather data, the um, outdoor temperature, and I'm going to take the average outdoor temperature. And I also want to see the collector temperature, and from the collector, collector I take also uh, the, yeah, the outflow temperature, which gives me the most information. And I want to have in the storage tank the temperature in layer number 3. After defining these variables, you need to, to define also a time period. For that, you need to click here and uh, define when you want to have the results. I want to go for the 1st of May, so that's why I'm going to define just May 1st here. And during this time period, starting uh, 1st of May and ending also the 1st of May, all simulation time steps are locked. So we are going to start our simulation here and uh, yeah, again the results will bring us all results in uh, yeah in time step steps which are yeah one second or a little bit more than one second. This gives us a possibility to do very detailed uh, simulation analysis and we can also compare these results with uh, uh, measured data from the field. When we are finished with the simulation, now you need to go to the file where you, which we defined previously. Here you can see all simulation we've done with the log and parameterize feature. And we are going to take the last one, as that is what we did. Open Excel at the same time. And uh, yeah, just take it, bring it over to Excel, the results. And now we can go ahead with a more detailed analysis. Yeah, to analyze more into detail, I just will take these values, my, my axis, my x axis for the time and the weather data, collector data, and the temperature and storage tank. Under Insert, you find uh, scattered diagrams, and yeah, you can just bring it into Excel. I will enlarge this window a bit, and I will also change the x-axis, so that we just have the most interesting results, and that we can see a bit more. Here you can see how the collector outflow temperature is changing. It looks like the pump is switching on and off. And yeah, that can have to do with the, with the weather data. So probably there are clouds and sun. And what we see here in the green line, that is the storage tank temperature. So we get enough energy into the tank to increase this temperature. And then in the afternoon and evening, the temperature is going down again. What we see here, the blue line, that is a weather data, the average outdoor temperature. Yeah, at this point I want to say goodbye and wish you a lot of fun and success with Polysan and the Log and Parameterize feature.